All right. Hello and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, aka Clog, <laughs> Wednesday edition this time. And you know, as you might expect, we're currently on a on a little bit of a streak. Um, you know, we <laughs> have a long way to go to match our best, but I think we have a pretty good shot of getting it to at least three here on this Wednesday. So let's get it done. Uh, you can have oral testimony, like spoken. Otis Redding uh, is a pretty famous person. Prioritize in a way. Rank, maybe? Like you rank your priorities. Acai Berry. Tacos Al Pastor. You know, classic. You know, that's uh, it's like pork with uh, pineapple. Improv, improv shows lack a script, as you might imagine. Okay, let's take a look at this theme. With 30 and 49 across, test questions to be answered by filling in the correct circle. Well, I mean, that's got to be multiple choice something, right? Mul M U L T. Okay, this is not going to be multiple choice here. Um, okay, so we'll come back to that. Park City Getaway. Like, you want it to be ski something. Um, lost dogs or, oh, probably ski trip here. Um, lost dogs or lost pets. I think generally, uh, okay, it's going to be pets because, um, uh, if you were a child during this uh, time period, you probably saw Pimp My Ride on TV featuring, featuring the host exhibit. And it's funny, now, now that I think about it, it was like, it was one of those shows that seems like purely designed to appeal to children. Because so many of the things that they did to these people's cars were just so like tasteless and like over the top. <laughs> they would put like 17 speakers um, in, the, in the trunk of, of this person's car. They can't even put any groceries in there anymore. It's just all speakers. They'd put like 30 TVs. There'd be like a TV on the underside of the trunk, <laughs> right next to all the speakers. There'd be like two TVs in every headrest. It was just like, it's, it's only appealing to someone who has never even considered the fact that like, you need to use a car for something other than <laughs> looking at. Um, but I, I really enjoyed that show as a kid. Part of a wheel. Well, you can have the rim of a wheel. Uh, singing in the rain, usually. I don't know. Uh, carpenter's bladed tool. I know an awl is a carpenter's tool. I mean, saw is probably more direct. Um, mm, but I think it's actually awl. I thought an awl was just a pointy thing and not bladed really, but I think a lion fish. Oh, that doesn't quite fit. Um, pool accessory or a clownfish, right? That's what Nemo was. So maybe it's not saw or all. Pool accessory, probably a Q. Okay, I think I'm just way off on the fish thing. Okay. New ones. New moms or new dads, I would say, would be sleep deprived. Because, uh, yeah, a musher's vehicle is a sled. So let's see if this is M or D. A meme might be shared a lot online. Okay, so it's new moms. Oval office, where the president uh, lives. <laughs> um, live it up. Revel in something, maybe. There's vacuums sucks five stars i mean it's a it's like a joke review <laughs> i guess review 
get it because the, the vacuum is supposed to suck. Um, competed with, maybe rivaled. Uh, Megatron was the leader of the Decepticons. Eros, uh, another name for Cupid, basically also extremely common in crosswords. Genetic strain, <laughs> a lot of that in the news recently. Uh, nori, that's that um, uh, dried seaweed, and that might often go on top of a rice bowl. Something game, interesting. Test questions. Okay, interesting. Oh, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Uh, meaning, why are you Romeo? They, of course, lived as... Um, uh, <laughs> they, they were both parts of rival clans, and um, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Uh, meaning, you know, she loves him, and by any other name, he would be just as good. Uh, but because his last name is Capulet, or Montague, I, or yeah, he was the Montague, um, <laughs> you know, their love was forbidden, which is what got them into that whole math mess. I think this is going to be worth here. Uh, nudges in the right direction, maybe hints. Man Ray, that's a sick name. <laughs> Pioneer in surrealist photography. If that's right, that's awesome. Supernatural sight. Hmm. Ooze seep. Song sung at sea. <laughs> Song sung at sea. Wow, that was an unexpected uh, tongue twister. Uh, but that would be a shanty. Sea shanty. You remember when the internet was all about their sea shanties. Um, pair in a dinghy. Oars. You might need a pair of oars. A dinghy is a, a little boat. Michigan neighbor. Ooh, my U.S. geography isn't great. Indiana. Does that not? I, I think Indiana borders Michigan. They both border the Great Lakes. I don't, I, I think they probably touch each other. Rushing sound. Ooh, it could also be Ontario, though. Because I think a whoosh would be a rushing sound. Look at me, being all US-centric. There's other countries out there. Um, I think it, this would be what? Ear tag. Uh, hygiene. Is that how you spell that? It might be EI. <laughs> I should know that. Um, I think it's this. Like a cloudless night. Starry. Starry night. First place for rounds of draft picks. Um, so the, the misdirection here is that you're thinking like sports draft picks, but I believe this would be a brewery. Um, brewery, because uh, drafts can refer to beer as well. So you might pick out a beer at a brewery. Um, petting zoo sound, ba. You might pet a sheep at a petting zoo. Um, I say no. I'm going to put your foot down. Character in face off. Uh, so that question mark really clued me into the fact that <laughs> there was something um, going on here. So face off is a movie starring, I believe, Nicolas Cage. Um, but the important thing here is the, uh, the question mark, meaning it's not actually about a character in that movie. It's a character in like literally the, <laughs> the text face slash off. Hence, slash. Uh, Lee, that's just another name for pasture, nothing else to it. Um, very common in crosswords, which is why I know it. Uh, an elf in Santa's workshop. Um, singing in the rain, usually. Interesting. Interesting. 
In a Scrabble game, what tile is worth two points? I don't know. <laughs> it just came to me. It just looked right. Um, so that's a reasonable question to ask. I think I misparsed the, the clue originally. Um, where was the revealer here? Um, with 30 and 49 across, test question to be answered by filling in the correct circle. Oh. OK. Filling in the correct circle. Oh. I think that means that Interesting. I was originally going to say, I think that means that maybe the other circles will be blank. I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, as solver of this, to fill in the correct circle, because it seems like I would have to fill in all of these circles. Um, like, for example, eek out. Uh, like, I filled in this one, but I've also filled in this one. So I think there's a little bit left to this game that I'm still not understanding, but... Um, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, shut in, confined, and something fish, uh, clearly. Um, you, okay, th this would be a pastel. Ooh. Do I just not know how to spell, or is this actually what I was saying? Um, here, take it. And this is hup, as in like hup, two, three, four, that sort of thing. Uh, you can have supernatural visions. It's destiny. Hmm. You might have leaky rusty pipes, rye bread, Mars bar, that's candy bar. Sign of a burnout, an ember. Um, ooh. Okay. So I think this is just tree. Um, leafy shelter from the sun. Um, and kismet, I, I think that's a, a Yiddish word. Um, for destiny, I guess. Um, so yeah, maybe I am supposed to leave some things blank. Unless this is like a tree and it's pastella or something. But I, I think I am supposed to leave this blank. That's interesting. Um, meeting format. Video, maybe? Um, Anomalous means like out of the ordinary. Okay, interesting. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna need to be a careful here. Oh, acapella. Usually when you're singing in the rain, you don't have a musical accompaniment. And acapella means, you know, without instruments. It's just, just your voice. Uh, make a night dub. Um, you can like dub someone a night. Zebrafish, okay. Ads, interesting. I could believe that's a word, but boy, does that look ugly. Um, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, is part of the Liberal Party, I guess, and not much of it. Part of a Velcro shoe strap or something. R and B. This might be brew bar. Wait, that doesn't fix the problem. Brew lab, maybe? But it should be R and B for Mary J. Blige, I would think. 
Um, Big Sur is a um, natural landmark in California. Hip Harp article. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. <laughs> um, I don't need to say anything more about that one. <laughs> um, interesting. It's definitely getting tricky down here at the bottom. Um, Filling in the correct letter. Yeah, okay. So I I could believe that, I, I feel like an A would be worth only one point and an E would be worth only one point. Um, what does this say? To be answered by filling in the correct circle. Huh. Okay, what if this was Brew Lab? A Velcro shoe. It, no, Brew Pub. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Um, because a strap, like Velcro shoes have straps, not laces. End run? Earned run? Earned run is a thing in baseball. End run? I don't know what that is, but Uluru? Uhuru, maybe? Yeah, the. Um, <laughs> such a nerdy way to play this thing. What, like, what can I talk? I, <laughs> I'm doing a crossword vlog, aka clog. Um, but <laughs> what, a, what a ridiculous clue there. Um, Okay, classic lyrical poem. Mm. Ending with spasm. Spasm, spasmodic, perhaps? I think that's a word. Anomalous could be odd. Okay, video here. Eco-conscious. And two dice in Monopoly, two die. Okay, yeah, what do I do with this? Do I just put an X here maybe? Um, a, B, C, D, E, D, tree. Do I just put D there? Now I'm confused. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, okay, in a Scrabble game, what tile is worth two points, A, B, C, D, or E? And I don't think it's A. I think B is worth four points. I think C is worth three points. I think E is worth one point. I think A and E are worth one. I think B is four and C is three. So D, I think, is two, but how do I fill it in? <laughs> like if I was if I was solving this as a regular crossword, can I like rebus it and then like DX or something? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well. First, I'm just gonna go through and make sure that, like, it, it could be that I just put D in there and that's fine, but I have something else wrong. So, okay, I'm just gonna put D in just so I can tab through. I think ads is a thing. Um, moms. Ski trip. Not much a bit. Seep. Hmm. 
what tile is worth slash Nori Ontario shirt ba man ray could that be wrong <laughs> could be strain looks oh yeah um oh Romeo yeah hints in the right direction yeah that seems fine starry hygiene visions two points uhuru end run run end but I think uhuru just looks right And then, like, I want to fill this in, <laughs> um, but I just don't know how to how to do that. Um, but I'll, I'll check all of these. I mean, Kismet can be wrong, but everything else seems okay. Spasmodic. Yeah. Okay. So I'm wondering if this is just like filled. <laughs> like, like, I. <laughs> I feel like everything else is right. Um, man, okay, let's read this one more time. Test question, filling in the correct circle. Can I just say in? <laughs> D, crossed out. Crossed. Um, X, D, X. Oh my gosh. I I don't know. Yeah, I really I really don't know what I'm I'm meant to do here. And I I feel bad cuz I feel like this is just one of those things that might not just translate to the online thing. Um Yeah. It's a cool theme too. Yeah, I don't want to I don't know what to do here cuz I don't want to lose my streak if it's just because of this. Um but I don't I don't know how to <laughs> Oh Epode? Is Epode a thing? Hygiene. Could be. Well, man. All right, let's go ahead and. Did we check the puzzle already? I don't. I'm so conflicted here. <laughs> I just don't see anything else that could be wrong. I mean, I, I, things could be wrong. Like Kismet could be wrong, but every everything just everything that could be wrong just seems so well crossed. Like with something that I know can't be wrong. <laughs> How do I do it? What do I do here? I I might 
here's what I I might do. I what I'll do, I'll retain some honor. Um, I think I'm gonna look at wordplay, the crossword column, and I'm gonna take a quick look and see if I had anything wrong. And if I did have something like legitimately wrong, I'll you know end the streak right there. But if the only thing that was wrong was I didn't know how to fill in that like bubble, then I'm gonna count that for the streak. Deal? All right, nobody said no, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Two points is the detail. Oh, I see. I don't like that, but I think I have to count it as a loss. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> you can see today's news. Okay. I don't like that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you read it while I was skimming, but that's really that's a bad way of doing it. But yeah, basically the actual answer here is pastel shade, hues such as pale mint or lilac, and the actual thing here is shade tree instead of just tree. Um, so wait, let me. Uh, just to kill the streak, because I have honor, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you know? There's R&B. <laughs> um, yeah, but this is pastel shade and shade tree. Okay. That one feels very underhanded to me. Um, because... An equivalent, an equivalent way of parsing this was you literally fill it in, like like colored in black, basically. And pastel and tree still work for both of these clues. Hues such as pale mint or lilac, like those are pastels. Um, and leafy shelter from the sun is tree. So there, there's basically no way for me to know that my parsing of this was wrong. Um, like if I had a crossword, I would literally just fill in this square with with my pencil and be like, ha, I figured it out and been satisfied. Um, so this felt extremely underhanded to me. Um, and I I know that, that definitely sours me a bit on the theme, like th that that was the only way to successfully complete this. Um, I, I, I felt like that was completely unnecessary. <laughs> and I think... Um, if that was the way you wanted to go, then you, I, I feel like these clues should have not been possible to work without the shade. Um, like I should have had the feeling, oh, something's missing here. Pastel doesn't really mean that. Or something's missing here. Tree doesn't really mean that. Um, and I guess they were trying to do that with like leafy shelter from the sun. Um, like I... I get that they were attempting to do that, but it just, I don't know. I'm <laughs> i am a little annoyed by that. But I, I still think this was a really well-constructed puzzle. I just like hate that one decision. Um, so if I ignore that bit, and if the actual way to do it, it was acceptable to just like fill this in, then I would have been pretty like <laughs> happy. And I, I, I would give this like a 7.5 or so. Um, but here we are. <laughs> um anyway uh i i thought it was very interesting i thought it was a cool idea um and i just hate that one little bit of execution i feel like it was so good until that point um anyway anyway i like i said i had a good time just a little sad that the streak is gone but uh with that thanks for watching and i'll see you next time